So you want to open a restaurant. Well, you probably know that's a lot easier said than done. Depending on the kind of restaurant, there are different licenses and permits you'll need to have before you open your doors. Acquiring all the necessary food licenses and permits involves a lot of paperwork and patience. It takes time for each and every one to be approved. It's not always fun, but it's absolutely necessary. I'm Sam from Toast, and today I'll be explaining some of the documentation you'll need to have in your restaurant. Let's get started. Let's start with the business license. This is required to open and operate any business in the United States and legitimizes new businesses as legal entities. To get a business license, simply search for the name of your state and business license on Google and locate your state's government site. Just follow the application procedures as laid out online. Business licenses cost about $50 for registration, while the license can range from $25 to $7,000. Remember that sometimes you will need to renew your license annually or pay by a certain deadline. Next up is an employer identification number, or EIN. Like a business license, all businesses must also obtain an employee identification number in order to operate in the U.S. EINs are assigned by the IRS and in everyday terms is just a tax ID number. Prepare to sit on this one for a while. The IRS only issues one EIN per day. You can apply for an EIN through the IRS website or by fax, phone, or mail, but the good news, it's free. A certificate of occupancy certifies that the building your restaurant operates in has been properly constructed and maintained. Once your location has passed the final building inspection, the local building or zoning department in your city will issue the certificate of occupancy. Getting this certificate varies for every area. Like the business license, search for your state and certificate of occupancy and just follow the steps on your local government's website. This certificate isn't too pricey, it usually comes to $100. What's a restaurant without food? Food service licenses are generally issued by the city or county health department. The health department will make an in-person visit to your establishment, and if you're in accordance with all restaurant food safety regulations, you'll be able to obtain a food service license. Just don't forget that the process doesn't end there. The health department will continue to make regular visits to inspect your restaurant, which means your food service license is always at the liberty of being lost if you violate the rules. The license can cost from $100 to $1,000 and can be obtained at a local health department. There's still plenty of certification you'll need in your restaurant, like a sign permit and a liquor license. To see a full list of necessary restaurant licenses and permits, read our full blog on the topic today. And if you're serious about opening a new restaurant, make sure to download a free copy of Toast Restaurant Business Plan Template. We give you the tips for developing an executive summary, industry analysis, and marketing plan to make your restaurant stand out from the competition. To get started on a more profitable future for your restaurant, get started on your business plan today. Thanks for watching. I'm Sam, and we'll see you next time.